Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing a couple of different games from the same developer. The first one is called Goodbye Doggy, and it's a cute game about a dog visiting its family and helping them move on. Goodbye, doggy. Bark. An undying sense of loyalty has pulled your spirit from the chasm of death. Bark. 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 Everyone's kind of down, feeling a little bit sad. Doggy, best furry friend forever, with a very straightforward name. This person's much too dehydrated from crying in order to continue barking, baking rather, not barking. This person threw their duster into the bed. They've completely given up on the chores for today. Bring the water down to you. The sad baker notices the water bomb hydrates properly. The newfound energy allows him to finish baking a beautiful loaf of whole grain bread. Bark. Past the quiet sobbing, you can hear their stomach mildly grumbling. So this one's hungry. This one was sad so they couldn't bake, but they just made some bread because we gave them water. Pets clean the attic for them will help. Bark. You need some bread, my friend? They accept the bread, never questioning its previous whereabouts. Scarving the slice down, you see them calm down a bit more. They look longingly at the unfinished homework on their desk. A myriad of complex, arithmetic problems. Do you, do you want me to do your homework for you? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. For sheer world power, the homework has been flawlessly completed. Dang, dog knows, knows homework. Give him the homework. Slightly mystified, they accept the completed homework without question. Watery eyes tell the story of a person filled with regret. Perhaps a reminder of better times would help. Well, let's go over here and help this one. I'm gonna try and make sure. So this is the kid. These are the parents, I guess. So let's help them dust. So the motivation to do it. Oh, I'm so sorry, spider. But you gotta go. The attic is totally clean and you find your old ball. Bark. Here. Bark. They hold the ball tenderly, memories of warm summer days softening their expression. Tears still flow, but for different reasons. So this is like... This is like a much more positive version of some of the games I've been playing lately. They clutch an empty stomach, too vulnerable to face our family downstairs and keep hungry to move. So you need food too. The plain bread proves to be undesirably soft for them. If only you could toast it. The fireplace singes your milk-coast snack into a tasty golden treat. Here, toasted bread. Famished hands grab the toast. Its savory scent wafting for the bedroom air for a moment. They're still sad, though. Bark. Staring at the wardrobe, a worried look crosses her face. They may need help choosing something. Don't worry, Doggy's gonna help you. Pick your outfit. Um... Frog hat. The fancy frog hat wipes away the blues, even if temporarily. Yeah, that's right, I know my fashion. Frog hat. They're looking relatively peppy in their new outfit. Bark. They meekly chew in the warm piece of bread, actively trying to ignore the dirty dishes in the sink. Well, let me help you with that. No, dog, you shouldn't lick the plate, even if you're a ghost. Though taste means nothing to your ghostly palate tongue, licking the dishes reminds you of the delicious food you ate in life. 
Uh, I'm still upset. Free from chores, they've picked up a crossword to relax. However, its difficulty only gives them more anxiety. You want me to help you? Bark. Bark. Your crossword answer strikes him like an epiphany. Each letter a stark reminder of death's finality and life's fleeting moments. Oh crap. Well, you can see the grief of your family. You know deep down that they'll be okay. Free from your burden, you can now ascend to your final resting place. Go up. Somber and emotionally understanding. You're taking some time to just think. Kind of sad, still. Like, I'm, I'm helping them move on, but... It's like, it's like a sad acceptance. Let's go, dog. I'm having a little hard time going up here. Bark. God, I'm getting cave story vibes. I'm gonna go bark up a storm in heaven. Take okay, it to my grandma, grandpa, and dog. Good for you. So that's it for Goodbye Doggy. We'll be switching over to their other game in just a second, um, just after some final words. So, some quick thoughts. Uh, this is a very wholesome game. It's dealing with a, a sad subject matter, but it is, it, it, it is, I'm not gonna say it's cute because it, it's got a, a dog ghost going around. It's cute, like, in the artistic sense. But wholesome, I think, is, is a better word to use here. But I'm sure a lot of the viewers who are watching this can relate to this game quite a bit, and, you know, uh, whether you're, you're spiritual or not, or whatever you may or may not believe, um, I, I always kind of feel like you do kind of, whether you're just carrying the positive energy from the memories, or whether you think something's watching over you or something, um, you always seem to kind of carry things like that forward. So, even when they're gone, it's kind of like they're still there, and spirit. Not literal spirit, not like this game, let's say. So, even though someone had the dog literally helping people, uh, I think the the message is actually um, kind of like that, and it's, 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 it's a good one. Hey everyone, this is Manly Ben as here, and welcome to P.E. Noir, which is basically exactly what its title says. This is the second game for the developer I'm playing today, so let's get on this mystery. Tuesday, 9 a.m. Another drab morning at Sunnyside Elementary. My veins course with drinky drink, and even its kid-tested, mother-approved flavor sat like ash in my mouth. The daily responsibilities of all modern racked my mind, my sugary vices unable to fill a hole in my heart. Still, the empty cafeteria provided me quiet solace, far away from troubled halls. Little did I know, trouble would find me just as I began to savor my rare moment of peace. Rhubarb! I knew I'd find you in the cafeteria. I don't need other hall monitors drinking their worries away when I have enough on my plate as it is. Why aren't you doing the rounds? None of your business. Yo dang lucky you've got the principal on your side. If you don't cool that attitude, one day you're gonna really need me. Maybe I won't be there to help you. Whatever. The principal wanted to see you in the main office. A new case, probably. Just head down the hall. And if it's not too much to ask, maybe do your job. That was Mia. Wasting more time? Not surprised. Oh, but sure, why don't you? Maybe I will. Hall badge. This highlights my place in the school hierarchy and my subservience to the principal. Red whistle. Stops perps running under tracks. It hurts my ears. All in one tool. Gelatin. If you poke it, the jelly jingles. Dance, jelly chance. You're the last good thing in this world. Blank paper. It looks like blank paper. 
if I give it a closer look. It's actually two sheets of blank paper. Whoa! Absolutely riveting. Red splatter stains. Old ketchup from yesterday's food fight. Sometimes I forget that even a frequent haunt like the cafeteria is sadly susceptible to the roundiness of the halls. Hey, I'm free money. Yeah. No oh god. <laughs> it's, it's like propaganda. <laughs> Big Dairy once again rears its ugly mug to push its disgusting product. This one is at least more tasteful. The last one was a hyper-realistic udder installation. It was made with real udder. Food pyramid. No more in every quarter. Just another cheap scheme concocted by the big wigs up top. Tadling it through. Mystery Mac. It's supposed to be macaroni and hot dogs, but it's liquid now. They had to switch to a stainless steel pot after the previous container rode it away. It melts through almost everything. Really makes you wonder what the hot dogs are made of. Lunch favorite food. The sheeple here may be content with the lukewarm slop they make here, but I refuse to be a part of this disgusting system. I bring home lunch instead. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, bimble. Quarter. Black top, cafeteria. What was in this room? The kitchen? I have no interest in relearning where chicken comes from. My experience working that case still haunts me. I'm so nervous, I've got a huge PE test today. 100 squats and downward dogs, back to back. Who oh, I suppose you've got something for me to chew onto the edge of. Eat a quarter. <laughs> no. Sink. Crack mirror. My hollow sunken eyes are barely visible under my bucket hat. Being a hall monitor has changed me. It's been a rough semester. Sink. A sinking feeling. Bleh. It's been a porcelain. Gross. Trash. Someone threw out a perfectly good frog pencil. The rich yuppies from Annex C always throw expensive stuff away to tease other students. Nice. Bathroom stall door. An occupied stall. That's weird. I thought this toilet was broken. Hmm. A little mysterious. Let's see the black top. Two black top. Doesn't work. Book propaganda. They try to tell us reading is fun. We've all read a book before. We only know, already know what it's like. Math room. No, it's a locker. It's securely shut, but the lock is cheap. Lock lockers. I'd open them, but they're locked. That's why they're called lockers. Because you lock them. But where does the Earth's part come from? Hey, yeah, there was a quarter there. You can't hide from me, money. I remember water fondly. But now all I crave are drinky drink juice boxes. Drinky drink. The drink I always return to. Like a home. From far away. No matter how far you get away from, you always have that longing. A longing for home. No matter how nice things currently are, you never forget that feeling. The feeling of drinking drink. Principal. What you call me in for? I'll monitor Rhubarb. So glad you can join me. I have an issue that needs resolving. Melvin has been getting out of P for the eighth school day straight. While the use of sick notes is not uncommon, the frequency reasons are suspicious. The parents make heavy contributions to our school, so unfortunately my hands are tied on this matter. However, a fellow student is in a much healthier position to bring justice to this felon. Find proof of forgery and I can get this lowlife off the halls and back in attention. Your first suspect is CC, who was caught forging parental signatures five months ago. C2 served time in detention before. 
But if they've fallen back in crime, we can get two birds of one stone. You can't miss you two. From the school, Yellow Umbrella. And Homada Rhubarb. Please do be discreet. It'd be a pity if you lost Homada responsibilities. Labro. Kimmy. To the front. Money! My locker. My locker. Smells of mustard. I never prank for the hallway distance. I entered my combination. Lay my jacket over my lock. You can never be too careful in these halls. Pencil. Someone took all my stuff. At least they left me a pencil. Fantastic! Another yellow jacket here to grill me. Spare me. The other hall mod already has an eye on me. If you actually care about the students here, maybe you help me find my sports ball. They only kicked it off on the blacktop when I suggested the game, and now I can't find it. Not very fun to play with. If you have time, you better make time. Sunnyside relies on the sports ball league. It's one of the only things we sorry folk have to look forward to these days. Nurse Raj can't cure my edgy nihilistic worldview. Only anime can. Those boo boos are on the inside. Lab. Old sock. Smells absolutely foul. Like someone used it outside as a shoe. Quarter! Chris Poster. Chris Burr. I can't believe they still have this poster up after someone DIY crippled their dogs, puppies to grow big and ran. The worst part was when the school hired an ugly little speaker to tell us about the sanctity of human purity. Math room. Math law. Math class got much more exciting after that college prep cult took over the school board. It's locked. Recorder. Mia probably left this here while working on another case. It's missing a battery and a cassette. Math law. But once I found peace in understanding the arbitrary, rigid rules of math, I now feel nothing. Taking numbers will never represent the true nature of our tangible reality. Humans are messy, sick beings. I take no pleasure in the false refuge of arithmetic. Quarter! Now we can go here. Sane. Coach. Come to flaunt your P-deficient life, Hall Monitor. You may be proud of your job, but I feel nothing but pity. One day you're going to look in the mirror and look at your limp, sad muscles and wonder where you went wrong. Alright, main character from OKKO. Zane. Hey, Rhubarb! Have you seen my new cool new toy? I'm a little child, so I think bringing valuables to school is a good idea. It's an outlaw laser robo-geek. My parents are the rich and they got it for me. I'm so excited I lost all of my shoes, but also a sock. My parents' wealth has severely damaged my faculty for managing personal belongings. Heck. Is this your sock? Well, my sock. Perfect timing. My foot is kicked with bunny grass. Just give me a few minutes to slip this on. It takes longer when my mom is in here. Help me. Thank you. They make a pull of batteries from this toy for my audio recorder. Well, I would pull them if I could get this childproof packaging open. We just stole... Well, I'm a detective. It's for the greater good. Money! Official sports ball. League sports ball. One of them need a sports ball. Well, you actually got it. I saved this just for you. It's my new mixtape. People didn't really respond to the disco. I put it on it last time. So now it's 100% Eurobeat. Enjoy. Nice! You're gonna love it. Now it's time to prepare for sports ball tourney after class. Deja vu. I know I've been here before. Take the front out. Who's out here? C2. Hall monitor. If you're here, let me know then. I can assure you I have nothing to do with it. I've put that life behind me. I swear it. It doesn't matter. I do need a person to put in attention. You're cruel. I have dealt with enough power-hungry almonders like you before. But if you put me in attention, 
the real criminals still out there. But that don't look too good. Play my way, we both fall. Only as long as I need you. A chance to prove it is all I need. No evidence I've been making the sick notes or has found another forger. If you can get the old sick notes from the coach I beat you, you'll find them past the cabin two in the blacktop. Go in here. Money! You'd think that a school would make so much money off its detention industrial complex would at least get a decent artist with a sign. Truly awful last man art. Tatum. Go away, I'm busy crying! Go harass the other people, you old jacket. Uh, are you okay? My unhappy demeanor contrasts strongly with this imagery that Sunnyside seeks to evoke. Look at this sun, so happy, cool, and carefree. I'm simply highlighting the stark contrast between the unhappy students and the principal of the image. Go for dissonant. help you. It would be great if I help if I had something that better represent the squalid halls. My face alone doesn't seem to be cutting it for the visiting parents. This frog. <laughs> now what did you need? Need chew on. Well, I usually chew on pencils. This is a perfect chew on. So so nice. I'll give you the pencil back to you. Ew. Modern symbol of the squalor of the U.S. education system. Do you, do you want this? This is perfect. Now I can look sad with a sad pencil. Now that I've dedicated my life to funding the system, I have no need for fun or hobbies anymore. It's my old bug catching net. Goodbye, fun life. Hello, radical organization. Okay. Let's talk to the coach. I need access to Melvin's sick notes. Finally decided to nail that coward. It's about time. I have the sick notes, but they're locked in a drawer. The key fell in my pocket while I was in the cafeteria. I would have picked it up, but I can just pry open the door with my hands if it need be. Hmm. There's a small breast key under the grate. This must be the key to Hochapatia's stroller in the bathroom. Why is your drawer in the bathroom? The brass key slides in easily, revealing a stuffed drawer. There's a bunch of papers. A large portion of the top stack are all sick notes for Melvin. I could bring these back to C2. Then I could get some perspective on this low life. These are really strange. Each signature is exactly the same, but they're written out. Melvin probably has something to synthesize similar signatures over and over. Get whatever Melvin is using, you'll be able to squeeze a confession out. Try checking the locker next to the math room. That one should belong to Melvin. You also need a working recorder to link the evidence to Melvin once you get him talking. I've done all I can for you, all Monitor. The rest is up to you. Gilbert? If you're looking for that PE Dodger, I know exactly where Melvin's hiding. But it's going to cost you eight quarters. Don't get angry. I know how valuable information is for your operation. Okay, okay. Quit using that whistle. I'll tell you where Melvin is. The first bathroom stolen in this annex. Now leave me alone. <sighs> you ain't getting my quarters, SpongeBob. I know Melvin is in here. But I need more evidence before I start grilling this criminal. I need to break the lock. Oh, Cook's here. Cheffy. Oh, hey, old monitor. Some key kicked in the stove. So I got a hammer banging out then. But when I got back from the hardware store, it didn't have popped itself out. 
Life is nice like that sometimes. I do enjoy the nice things happen every now and then. No matter how small. Anyway, here's the hammer. I don't need any more. I swing down hard on the lock. It shatters along with Melvin's right to privacy. Signature template. This is Melvin's method of forgery. One step closer to the kind of confrontation. Didn't they say the mystery Mac erodes everything? The package eroded away <laughs> with the toy. I can see a small battery at the bottom of the pot, though. But there's no way I'm putting my hand in that. And that... And that sizzles when it touches the liquid. It begins to fall apart. I pull the battery out, but the net melts away into the Mac. At least the battery's compatible with any audio recorder. Chef Chaffee gives me a stern look, but doesn't lift a finger to stop me from throwing a random object to the mystery Mac. Well, maybe we do have everything now. Let's see. I think I'm ready for the confrontation. I knock on the door three times. And slowly it creaks open. Melvin. Listen, yellow jacket. I don't have time to be wasting with you like so you. I happen to be very unwell right now. What are you up to in the bathroom stall for an hour then? Just having an old poo, you know? None of your business. My mom told me it's perfectly normal for a growing kid to do it. You know anything else I do, I implore you to leave me alone. Copper. As a matter of fact. No, that can't be. How'd you find my template? It should have been in my locker. Oh, I get it now. You're just jealous, jealous. You got lucky being selected to be a home honor. But I'm smart. I worked at LP. It was above you and you couldn't stand it. But now I'm ruined. Completely. Ruined. Melvin fell into a fit of crying soon after. Streaks poured down Melvin's face, with each tear soaked in by the gathering crowd. Each student reveled in this low life's misery, chanting as Melvin was round up on the hall monitors and dragged into detention. As for me, I took more enjoyment in a job well done. A criminal in detention, multiple people helped, and minimal property damage. School would be saved for the coming week, and I was to thank for that. So that's it for P.E. Noir. This was a pretty, pretty cute and smooth game, but um, this was surprisingly hard-boiled. It, it was actually really hard-boiled for for its concept. And this developer makes some cute games. They actually do. They have a good balance of like a little bit of like whimsical humor and uh, art. I would say like an art, kind of an art style that matches their humor. Anyway, so thank you for watching me play these two different games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.